as it relates to briefings and sales activity, um, kind of the, the it's uh, like the, in Salesforce is called the next best action. So, you know, to be able to say to a salesperson and based on your analytics, right? So your analytics is the fundamental piece that's going to drive this, right? What your, your history with um, opportunities and how you've influenced them, the customer confidence metric at, well, that you were talking about, all of that data is what is going to feed these predictions. And you're going to end up, you know, very soon an opportunity and, and whatever CRM tool you use is going to have a um, something pop up and say, hey, did you know, salesperson, did you know that if you host a briefing right now or in the next whatever X time frame, um, that your odds of winning this deal and closing this deal go up by X percent. And that's the predictions that are soon going to be in front of salespeople constantly. And so the only way to get that is to have your data. One, as you were saying earlier, the importance of the BPM getting the data in on the, at the visit level, but then to the requester's question, how do you make sure the opportunity information is accurate too? Um, that's visibility. You know, like we, you have visit packages, and I think probably a lot of people use have these visit packages or briefing packages that you share with stakeholders and discussion leaders and things. And when salespeople learn that's going to be in front of all those people, sometimes they'll go, on, oh, wait a minute, that information I gave you before wasn't quite right. Yeah. <laughs> so can we make it a little more accurate? But, you know, that's coming. That's next. That is on the horizon. Um, and people are already starting to do it. And what that does is gives the companies the ability to you know, make better decisions, you know, down the road, you know, driving that business, um, you know, strengthening relationships with those customers. So, you know, things like you were talking about with um, surveys, you know, getting that information and capturing sentiment analysis, all of that is where we're headed. Mm -hmm. And so if you have the core fundamental analytics, is that what we're saying? You've got that then you can start building on that to get to that, what is that futuristic level that's coming up and where it's going to hit us all head on. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it already is. So 